Hi there, I'm Elaine Rosenberg from Neo4j. In this video, I will show you how to import data from CSV files into your graph that is hosted in the cloud with your Aura free tier account. Here we have created a database named Movies. We open the Neo4j browser for this database, providing the connection credentials of Neo4j for the user and the password that was generated for us when we created the database. The first step is to understand the data that you will load into the database. We have four files that we want to load into our database, movies, people, actors, and directors. Let's take a look at this data. Here is the load CSV statement we will use for our exploration of the data. We will read the first five records of the CSV file. Notice that this file has the header labels as the first row of the CSV file. This tells us that the headers are included in the file. The people.csv file contains two columns, name, which is the name of the person, and born, which is the year that the person was born. We can read the CSV file with headers, so we will be able to use the values in each column. Here we simply return each row again. We do not want to store the year that a person was born in our graph as a string, so we will convert it, and here we see that we can return the values in each row with the conversion. Next, let's examine the data in the movies.csv file. Again, we want to transform the released value to an integer. Let's take a look at the directors. The directors file simply maps director names to movie titles. We will be adding these directors as person nodes and create the relationships between the person nodes and the movie nodes. And finally, let's look at the actors. This file is used to map an actor to the roles they played when they acted in a particular movie. The roles value could have multiple values if an actor had multiple roles in the same movie. For example, the actor Hugo Weaving plays many roles in some movies. This transformation can be done this way to turn a set of roles into an array that we will store in our graph. Now that we understand the data and how we may need to transform it when it is loaded into the database, we next must design the data model for our graph. Here is the proposed data model. A person node can have an acted in or, and or a directed relationship to a movie node. Now let's load our data. First, let's load our people.csv file. Next, let's load our movies.csv file. It will help to have uniqueness constraints or indexes on the movie nodes and person nodes. This will enable us to do a quick lookup of a movie title or person name when we are creating the relationships between the nodes. Here we create these constraints. If the data that we had previously loaded violated these constraints, the creation of the constraints would have failed. Now that we have our person and movie nodes created and we have created constraints for these nodes, we are ready to create the relationships between them. First, let's create the directed relationships. To do this, we must create the person node for a director and then create the relationship. Notice that we use merge to create the person nodes. This, along with the constraint, will ensure that we do not create duplicate nodes for a person who is an actor and a director. We also use merge to create the relationship. This is always a best practice. 
In this code, we read each row from the director's CSV file. Then we look up the movie node from the row. Then we do a lookup of the person node from the row and create it if it doesn't exist. Finally, we create the relationship between the two nodes. Let's confirm that this import worked. We know that Tom Hanks is a person in our database, and he is also a director. Let's look him up. If we expand the visualization for this node, we do indeed see that Tom Hanks has the directed relationship to a movie. Next, let's create the acted in relationships. The acted in relationship will have a roles property. In this code, we find the person node from the row and the movie node, and we create the relationship and set the roles property for the relationship. Let's confirm some of what we loaded. And here we see that the nodes and relationships have been correctly created in the graph. Let's take a look again at the Tom Hanks node. Here we see that he acted in many movies and directed a movie. This concludes our look at how to import the movie data from CSV files.